Okay, this is a little work in progress video for uh, my expanded GE Color Effects uh, LED display. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I documented a project that a friend and I did uh, earlier in the year uh, building a LED display out of GE Color Effects programmable Christmas lights. Uh, the original display was made out of three strings. And I said I wanted to try and expand it and put it in a sturdier mounting, and that's what this is. Uh, I've added two uh, strings of lights, uh, to, uh, which brings the total to 180 in an array of 18 by 10. Uh, the whole thing is mounted up in what is just a workshop pegboard. Uh, I took a one-inch hole saw, drilled out every other hole, and that actually fit the bases of the lights uh, really well. Um, the lights originally uh, came with these little bulbs here, uh, but the bulbs aren't really bulbs, they're just little molded diffusers, so I popped all of those off. Uh, originally the display was using uh, three of the original wall warts that came with it, uh, little 5 volt preamp supplies. I've replaced all five of those uh, with a single supply, it's from Meanwell, it's a S100F-5. Uh, it's a 5 volt 20 amp display, provides enough power for all the lights and the Arduino Mega. All the power is routed through a little uh, barrier strip here and some jumpers to hook everything together. The five serial lines come out of the board, go into a little header that plugs into the, uh, the digital inputs on the same Arduino Mega uh, that I was using before. I've added an Ethernet shield so that I can do uh, network aware apps with this. More on that in a second. Uh, around the back here, it's a little terrifying. I didn't want to re-terminate all of the strings of lights, um, so they're just uh, in as they originally were. All the bulb bases are hot glued in, and then uh, all the power lines and data lines are run as neatly as I can uh, down the side and come up the bottom. This whole thing's going to end up mounted in a frame so that it'll be wall mountable. Um, as soon as I figure out what I'm going to do uh, with the diffuser. Like I said before, I had these little diffuser bulbs, and I didn't want to waste the space on those, so I've been looking for a material to use as a replacement. I found this stuff at Home Depot. It's the uh, lens for a fluorescent light fixture, and it has kind of a similar sort of triangular raised pattern the molded bulbs do. And if you get it at the right distance, it looks kind of good. Uh, but I'm not sure if I like it, so I'm going to see if I can find maybe some smoked or frosted uh, plexiglass instead to use and see what that looks like. Also, I managed to rip this pretty badly getting it out of my car, so I can't use that. Uh, so, yeah, so this is uh, where this project is so far. Uh, one, the Oh, so the other thing. So the uh, uh, Ethernet shield that I've put on here, I want to make this thing network enabled, so uh, I can do a couple of things. One, uh, I'm building currently an iPad interface for this, an HTML5 uh, jQuery iPad interface that I'll post more about soon. Uh, I'd also like to make it network aware so this thing could potentially uh, display weather conditions, news, stocks, I don't know, different stuff. Um, so we'll see where that goes uh, once I get a little more of the code done. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so this is coming along pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. And this thing does, uh, does light up the room pretty well, so it's going to be pretty impressive once it's all put together. So, uh, yeah, more on this later.